Right guys, welcome back to yet another Web3 programming tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can do uh, this, that you can use console log in your Solidity smart contracts. You know, normally this is not something that is supported by Solidity. Normally when you develop your smart contracts, there is no good way to output data to the console, which is a very standard thing that you have in um, JavaScript when you create websites, when you create mobile apps, when you create any other type of application, you have a way of writing data to the console, which is important because you want to log different variables, you want to log different data. With Solidity, there is no good way. You, you use normally events to get data into the console but it's not good look you cannot compare events to console log and in this video i'll show you how you can still use console log in your smart contracts and we will be using hard hat which is a local dev chain number one but also it's, it's a whole development suit for ethereum and for evm based blockchains so uh, let's start from scratch we create a new rep a new folder on our on our machine so let me just clear everything here. And the first thing we do is that we run um, npm init because uh, you know that uh, all the packages will be from npm. So we need an npm uh, initialized uh, folder. Then we actually download hard hat and we get it installed and uh, it will take uh, a minute or so. So now that the installation is complete, uh, we need to run npx hard hat um, like this. And so when you run this for the first time, you should get a menu like this and you can use your arrow keys uh, up and down to, uh, to select. And you need to select create an empty hard hat config JS. For some reason, I don't get that menu anymore. So I just do manually, you know, I created this file manually, hardhat.config.js. And also I, I opened up the, this entire project in Visual Studio Code. So yeah, you see the package file, the standard one and um, all the node modules. Next, hardhat tells us how they work. So they have tasks and plugins. Uh, tasks is basically when you run something like npx hardhat compile. So compile is a task. You can create your own tasks if you want if you are a super user power user uh, now you can also see help for each task so if you don't know how something works you can type this and the, the name of the task and you'll get an explanation and they will explain what kind of parameters that task uh, requires and then you have the plugins so here's where a lot of the functionality is and you can install new functionality. And they say, look, for this tutorial, we're going to use ethers.js and Waffle plugins. They'll allow you to interact with Ethereum and test your contracts. So that's very, very important. So let's just copy all of this and let's go and let's um, throw this into our project like this. So this will take uh, a few minutes, maybe one minute. And when that's finished, you see that we need to add this um, require statement to our hard hat config. So the entire file looks like this. You remember I just created an empty file and if you selected create empty hard hat config file in the menu, in the console, uh, you should end up with something like this. So just, you know, we copy this. So we have this hard hack, hard hat command. I have hard time saying it. It's hard hat, not hard hack, hard hat. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So now we have a new project uh, running and we can create uh, smart contracts and test them. That's next. So the next step is to create a new directory called contracts. Uh, you go to your um, uh, editor here, you right click, new folder, you call it contracts. Very easy, very easy guys. Who said that programming is difficult? And here you create token.sol. We're gonna deploy a token. <laughs> what else? <laughs> oh, of course we're gonna deploy token. Uh, perfect, so we've done that. Paste the code below. Bam, 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 like this, done. So in this uh, editor, I don't have Solidity highlighting. And to get easy Solidity highlighting, you can just, you know, you can go to uh, Visual Studio Marketplace, just Google that and search Solidity. And then you'll, uh, you'll get here, you click install like this. You click reload. And when you do that, you'll get the all highlighting perfectly like this. So now that we have our contracts ready, we can go and we can compile them because uh, we already copy pasted the token contract. So let's just go here, bam, bam, compile. Uh, so he's gonna use the compiler, comp compilation finished successfully. Very, very good. And you see that when, you, when we do compile, we get some extra folders here, artifacts, cache. Don't worry about that. Uh, just move on to testing contracts because now we've compiled it uh, and uh, that contract has a bunch of functionality. 
and you can then move ahead here and you can try to test it. So let's uh, uh, let's just quickly do that. So we need to create a new directory. We call it test. So we have the contracts directory here in red, and uh, now we create a, a new one, test like this, and in it we create token JS. So now it is the so the system knows that this test is for token JS. So we do, do here we we'll go here and we write token.js like this. And uh, we can copy this test. So of course, this tutorial is not to explain to you know how tests work and that. I, I'm just showing you hard hat that you have your contracts, then you have the test for the contract, where for example, the first step is to deploy it, to deploy the contract, and then you and then you test it, uh, and uh, you you test some variable, and then you can go here, and you can write npm hard hat test, and you will see that it passed. Uh, and uh, it says deployment should assign the total supply of tokens to the owner. So that's what it did. And each test you describe what you're testing here. So this is what we just saw here in the console, right here. And we deployed the contract and then we just test so that um, the total supply is equal to the balance of the owner. So that all tokens belong to the owner. We test for that. And if um, this is equal if we if we get that total supply and balance of the owner is the same which we expect then the test passes and the reason why the system knows that this smart contract belongs to this test or vice versa this test belongs to this smart contract is because they have the same name and now finally we come to console log part. <laughs> it's been it's been some uh, journeys to set it up, but now we're finally here. But you know, basically now you can put console log anywhere. For example, here in constructor, you can do console dot log, uh, hello, like this. And uh, when you run the tests, so uh, when you run the test again, you will see now that uh, it's gonna test, and you will see this hello. Um, you can go console.log uh, total supply. So you can do variables also, like this. Bam, bam. And you will see now, hello, total supply, very, very nice. Uh, so this is how it works with console. Of course, you can put console log in wherever you want. No, you can do it wherever you want. And it will be caught. By the way, don't worry about this. This is a, a problem with Solidity version, uh, how the um, how VS Code extension, which kind of Solidity version it is. So don't worry too much about that. Uh, as long as it compiles in hard hat, it's all good. So that being said, we now have seen console log, perfect. And your homework is to understand how to deploy this smart contract to a live network. So for example, how do you deploy it to your own uh, hard hat that is running on your computer? So as you can see, you need to create a folder called scripts. You need to create a deploy.js file where you basically specify what you want to deploy. And as you can see, it's very easy. You just write uh, get contract actory and then you deploy and that's it. I mean, it's, it's very easy. It's very easy. <laughs> and then this is just boilerplate for running for running the uh, th this uh, this code right here. Uh, and if you want, you can also deploy it to mainnet, to testnet. I'll be showing you how to do it very, very easily with Morales later on, because uh, you don't um, you don't need any other tool. Here they use Alchemy. You don't need Alchemy to, to deploy. So guys, I hope you learned something. I hope you now understand how you can use console log in Solidity. And uh, I hope you really see how easy it is. Look, it's all easy. Solidity is easy. Everything in programming, it's really easy. It's easy to start at least. It's difficult to master, but it's easy to start. It's easy to get results. If you want more fast results as a developer, as a blockchain developer, as a Web3 developer, smash that like, smash subscribe, smash bell button, comment something, do something, don't be passive, do something. <laughs> and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Have a good day and goodbye, guys. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.